Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky Femi coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time, daily uploads, but guys, you already know the rules. If you're not here on time, give you two of these, motherfucker. These hot right here. These hot. Nigga, you might not wake up when you get a two-piece from me, nigga. So you better be here on time. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Guys, we got a dark man joint. This video is called Sexist Man Objects Objectifies Woman or some shit like that. Um, so we're gonna see what this video is talking about, man. Got my Birkin hair, as you can see. Shorty look good as hell. Let's get the video cooking. <laughs> you were with me, you never have to work a day in your life. That's a hard no for me. You don't know what you're missing. And that's okay with me. Here's your gin and tonic. Sorry, it just slipped out of my hand. But you know what? Somebody should clean this up so no one gets hurt. Unbelievable. Guys, guys, I ain't gonna pause this video too much. Y'all know me. I don't really pause videos too much. Bro, this is the problem, guys. Listen, listen. I know, guys. I know. For us as men, we work hard to level up. And sometimes when we didn't met, you know, got to a certain level, we think we deserve this and deserve that. But at the end of the day, guys, you have to level up in all aspects of life, bro. You feel me? You can't just get money. Oh, now I deserve to have any bad bitch. No, that's not how it works, bro. You got to level up. Be a great person. Look good. Smell good. Get your money right. All that. That's actually leveling, leveling, leveling up. You feel me? Not just one attribute, my nigga. Not just one attribute. Just because you got your 99, you feel me, three-pointer, don't mean that you're going to be able to score buckets because your other attributes are low. Y'all get what I'm saying? I had to break it down in 2K terms. You feel me? So, um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. My, my, my. What of you? you know, yeah, talking uh, crazy. This whole maid thing that you got going on suits you a lot better than a bartender. Hey, don't be mad. This is a compliment to women like you. Women like me? Yeah, you know, women that uh, coast through life on their looks alone. You're wasting your time in a dump like this. Look, a woman like you needs to flaunt it. Why, you still got it. Hey, hey beauty, I mean, it's going to fade. Then what are you going to do? You know... You really shouldn't make assumptions about right. people based on how attractive they are. Right, right, right. Well, uh, that's just the way the world works, sweetness. No, you need to lean into it. Or you can lean into me. Nigga, I'm zesty with Never it. Never gonna happen. Fine. You know what? Why don't you make me another gin and tonic? I would not want to serve a nigga like that that's acting like that, bro. You know, I would think that a big, important man like yourself would have better things to do with his time instead of harassing mm. to do her job well actually this is a big night for me i'm selling my company for 10 times what it's worth i found a buyer and this guy he's a complete sucker he's coming here tonight sign the papers i will be a multi-millionaire by the stroke of a pen and what does any of that have to do with harassing right people? right oh nothing it's just a huge plus. What do you call this, a clean glass? There's smudges all over the rim. <laughs> Look, I have other customers. Oh, good. Then they should know about the service here. Listen up, people. This bartender here is serving drinks in dirty glasses. So, drink up. Stop it, will you? Fine. Here. What a what a doofus, bro. Now I'll tell you what. You just about are the worst bartender I ever met. But you have such a banging body. I mean it is Hey! Hot. <gasps> Can you stop leering at me? What? You should be flattered. Well, I'm not. It makes me uncomfortable. Right, right, right. And guys, 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 let me put y'all on some game, bro. You feel me? Me personally, bro, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of, you know, just in the guy's nature to be like, damn, she look good. But I'm going to keep that to myself, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm gonna be like, damn, you know, her body look good. I'm going to keep that to myself, bro. One thing you don't want to do is make the shorties uncomfortable, guys. Don't do that shit, bro. Don't do that. Girl, shorties already, shorties already go through enough with you fucking creeps. It's a lot of creeps out here, guys. I don't know if y'all know that. They already, bro, they already go through enough with these men being fucking creepy and thirsty and doing all this other shit. Bro, you never know how a person is until you bring them around some females, bro. For real, bro. 
Oh my gosh, if that's not the truest thing, bro. Because a nigga may be the coolest nigga with you, but when he he around girls, he may be beating them. He may be fucking doing all type of weird shit, making them feel weird. Nah, bro, nah. And I tell y'all all the time, I hang with shorties all the time, so you know I kind of see like both sides of the shit. But one thing I'm not going to do is make the shorties uncomfortable, bro. Like the shorties feel like they can't be around a nigga. You feel me? And like a lot of that has to, it, it, can, it can happen real quick, guys. If you're not an attractive person and you're trying to do attractive person things, as in like flirt with her and, and compliment her, she may get fucking weirded out just because you ugly as shit. I'm not going to lie. So it's a thin line. It's, it's kind of fucked up. But don't be making the shorties uncomfortable, bro. Life lessons will leak, man. Come on. You know, you only got hired here in the first place because the owner knew that hiring a hot girl behind the bar was going to draw in some customers. Case in point. As a matter of fact, I own the bar. Mm. Yeah, sure you do. Did your uh, rich uh, sugar daddy buy it for you? Because if he did, I will buy you 10 bars tomorrow, if that's what it takes. I actually worked my tail off building this business up from nothing. Can you top me off? Please? Oh, 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 he talking about the drink. I'm about to be a very rich man. And I'm going to need a trophy wife. And you certainly are worthy of that type. Bro, I'm not going to pause it no more. But this is the, bro, you got all this money, right? And these, bro, you, like, flaunting it and trying to attract short, shorties with the money is only going to get you to attract people who aren't genuine, bro. And they just going to take your fucking money. That's what's just going to happen, bro. That's just how it works, bro. So you got to keep it humble, bro. Me, per like, bro, me with the whole clout shit, bro. Clout is very powerful in this day and age, guys. I done told y'all, I done seen shorties do a complete 180, you know. And I never flaunt my clout. Never. I never do it, you know. But if a shorty, if a shorty just so happened to, you know, be around or know I got clout, bro, they be acting mad different. A lot of the shorties that I went to high school with trying to get clout, bro. For real. They trying to get clout, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy, bro. Never have to work again. I mean, isn't that the dream? Well, that's not my dream. I actually like working here. It's what my father instilled in me when I was young. <laughs> All right, well, I guess your dad is a world-class idiot because that is the worst advice. A woman like you shouldn't be working. She should be looking for a rich man like me. There's not enough money in the world for me to want to be with someone that's rude, right. arrogant, and nasty. And sassy. Look at him holding his and hand like this. Finding some stranger from a police lineup. This is my buyer. Hey, how's it going, man? Did you find the place all right? Oh, you're outside? Okay, I'm gonna meet up with you. All right, see ya. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go off to make my fortune, but don't worry, because I'm going to be right back to give you one last chance. One last chance. Nigga, she says she's not feeling you. For your future. <laughs> and she on the bar. She don't need the shit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's her dad. Let me guess. Hey, thanks for coming tonight, man. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm in town to surprise my daughter anyway. I rarely get to see her anymore. She's so busy. She's a brilliant entrepreneur, and I'm very proud of her. Oh, she sounds wonderful. She is. Excellent. Have you ever been here before? Are you kidding? They make the best old fashions in town. All right. Well, you are in for a treat. Because this bartender, absolute smoke show. I mean, wait till you see her. I mean, she's a terrible bartender, but her body is just... Hey, hey, hey. Right. I don't go to bars to ogle the staff. Oh, neither do I, man. I was just joking, you know? Guy talk. <laughs> nah, hell nah. Hell nah. Yeah, if you really want to get... You know, what kind of bartender doesn't stay behind the bar? Hey. Come on. Make me two old fashions here, pronto. On. That's not necessary. I'm sure they're just busy. Let's focus on why we're here. <clears throat> you know, I've been uh, analyzing your company's financials, and I have to say, impressive. Thank you. And I must say, with your investment and your business savvy, we're going to increase our profit margin a hundredfold. Well, I see the potential to make a lot of money. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna pause no more. But it, it just got me thinking, bro. A lot of the time, bro, guys, like in, in my experience, 
People that I've met that got like clout and money are pure assholes, bro. Especially when it comes to women. Especially, bro. I probably can name one person that I met. I'm not going to say no names. You feel me? I met him. You know, he got me into the bar, got me free drinks and stuff. And, you know, he started calling some girls over. And he was like, nah, man, these girls are for you. Real genuine guy, bro. He wasn't being weird to the shorties. None of that. And he was an older gentleman, you know, because usually the rich millionaires are older gentlemen because, you know, you got to work your way up, blah, blah, blah. You know, but other than that, bro, people that I've met that are like older men who like millionaires and all this other stuff, like got money, assholes, bro. Horrible, horrible people. Horrible people, man. <laughs> For both of us. <laughs> so Darman, Dar, Darman definitely, he's spitting with this. He's spitting with this. Sign here. And it's a done deal. Done deal. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's the bartender I've been telling you about. Huh? Am I right? Oh, there you been. You know, my friend over here has been waiting for an old fashioned forever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi. Why didn't you tell me you're coming to town? I wanted to surprise you. How do you two know each other? This is my daughter, Leslie. What? I thought you said that your daughter was like this like brilliant entrepreneur. Leslie owns five restaurants and three bars. Damn. That she built from the ground up by herself. I even offered to loan her money to get her started, and she turned me down. I'm very proud of her. W, W. <laughs> Look, I told you before. You really shouldn't make assumptions about people based on looks alone. Dad, why are you with this guy? I was thinking about buying out his company, but after hearing what he said about you, I'm not so sure. Oh, I'm sure he had plenty to say. <laughs> he said so. <laughs> Did you think that I was like, I was being serious? I was just joking. Oh, you yeah, yeah, you yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. Daughter, a smoke show who's terrible at her job? Is that what you think is funny? <laughs> that sounds like something he would say. Dad, he's been harassing me since he entered the door. Is that so? What? Shoot that nigga. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, my bad. My bad. It's a darn man video. I'm tripping. Dad, you should have heard what he said about you before you got Oh, yeah, idiot. Oh, really? What did he say? He said that you're a total sucker for overpaying for his company and that you're a world class idiot yeah. for instilling a strong work ethic in me. Is that right? Spit all up. And oh, my bad. my bad. He told me that I'm wasting my time working here. That I should quit and become his trophy wife. Now, that is a gross misconception of what I said. Look, <laughs> you, your daughter's exaggerating. You know what, Max? It's fine. Because as far as I'm concerned, the deal's off. I refuse to be in business with any man or anybody who mistreats and demeans women. Right, right. I was gonna slap the skin off him personally. Tim, please, please, please. I need this money. If I don't have this money, hands and knees. Think if I don't have this investment. Well, I guess you better start looking for some life jackets because it's over, Max. Kick him. Let's go have dinner after your shift. I'm staying at the Four Seasons. Yeah, sounds good. Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Me. Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Yeah, us. You know what? This whole sad, pathetic look you got going on suits you much better than being arrogant. Just FYI. And FYI, I'm gonna be in them DMs. Ah! Stop laughing at me! Did ah! this random nigga, bro? I, I, I know I just took an L. But did this random nigga just pour some alcohol on me? Insult to injury? Nigga, I was a piece that nigga, bro. Me personally. I'm talking about stop lap, bro. This is a random guy. Why you felt like you can do that to me, nigga? Mind your business. You feel me? Like, I know I just took an L. It clearly got handled. And you want to come try to, uh, to the aftermath, try to add some insult to injury. I would have slapped the skin off of, bro. That's just me personally. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And what I'm going to do, catch you in the next video. Bye.